Hi everybody, it's Lace, and with R50, we got some uh, new Barbarian armor. And we basically have the Wolf Clan, the Bear Clan, the Dragon Clan, the Boar Clan, and the Stag Clan. And I've only gathered a few pieces and just kind of have them laid out here in Diamond Fields on the Crafting Pavilion until I get a full set. This will help me uh, determine getting the full set for the crafting uh, school and stuff. Um, if you look at this one particular piece that I'm looking at, this wolf chest armor, this is probably a low-end example. Shows it has 14 to 79 durability. Uh, keep in mind, I could use repair kits and then enchant and masterwork this rather than salvaging a bunch and trying to get a pattern and then applying the pattern to something I've already created. Um, my odds of getting a pattern, you know, there's still, I, I think somebody says like 5% if you're GM'd in salvage that's pretty darn low it means i'd have to get you know 20 plus to maybe get one and i've probably salvaged already 20 plus on some of these and gotten no patterns so alternatively you can look at the durability and possibly bump up the item in uh, repair kits or maybe even a code of repair if you really like the look of it so this is woof i've only gotten a few pieces of that this is dragon i've only gotten a few pieces of that this is boar. I've gotten quite a few pieces of the boar. I think I'm just missing one. Uh, and then this is the uh, bear. Um, the Where I'm getting these particularly in particular myself is um, for the uh, bear and dragon. I'm getting those in Ulfheim. And those are a little bit higher level mobs. But I like that because it's more XP for me hunting. And then uh, it's also a tier 5 zone. And I can go and uh, get some uh, producer XP doing my trees, cottons, bears. Not quite as much as mining. But, you know, I can kill the, kill the uh, barbarians and then go around and do a little harvesting and rinse and repeat along the way. Um, the other armor is, of course, the boar and the wolf. And I've been getting those in sawtooth. And I'm going to sawtooth thicket. I'm going to show you that. Uh, I'm going to show you one thing on that at the at the end of this. And then lastly is the stag. And uh, I haven't personally gone there. And that's why there's no stag armor quite yet laying out here. But I'm told the entrance to Granis Colossus has some. Um, I haven't personally confirmed that. Uh, but that's one place. Uh, next up I want to kind of show you a little bit about what this armor looks like. So give me one second to swap modes here. And take a peek at somebody with some on. So here we have someone uh, dressed in a variety of different uh, clan stuff. If I right click them and hit examine, and if you're ever wondering what somebody's wearing, you can do that and you can see what the gear is that they have on. So she's got a wolf chest, looks like boar legs, uh, boar bracers, and some bear boots. Um, and it, it's, very, uh, it's very barbarian looking, this little look. And she's got this sling top on uh, for you ladies out there. <laughs> um, so uh, it's uh, pretty cool looking armor, I think. And again, like I said, you don't necessarily have to get the pattern. You may find some that have enough durability or you can repair the durability up to just go ahead and enchant and take the gamble on enchanting and master working whether rather than uh, trying to break it down to get a pattern to apply to your uber stuff or you can just wear it around as normal party gear and stuff so um i think it looks pretty cool especially like uh that that shoulder sling thing i, I just that's pretty cool and uh there's all or all sorts of types and while i've laid them out on the front of the pavilion they don't really do it justice until you actually see it on a person um so next up i'm going to show you in sawtooth this one little trick that uh, I'd hunted Sawtooth before, but I swear this just really eluded me and drove me nuts. So I just want to show that. So inside a Sawtooth Thicket here, if I hit M for map, um, I came in the east entrance. That's the default. And uh, right down here is a little like hollowed out cave area. And you'll get a bunch of mobs, some boards and stuff. And then you can go around and go up top. Now up top here. There's a walkway system. I'm kind of hiding behind a tent because if I peek my head out, um, I'm going to have some uh, folks. I don't know if we can see it quite yet. Yeah, there's uh, some platforming and uh, there's some folks, archers and casters, that'll start nailing me. Now, prior to this release, I had been trying to use my pole and everything else to get these guys off of there. I couldn't figure out how to get up here. 
I was looking all over. I was trying to jump from here, uh, you know, and jump up there. And, and they were just hitting me and I couldn't figure out how to get up here because I'm stupid. All I had to do was go to this rope and click it. And now I'm on the platform and I can come in here and kill these guys and do what I need to do. And you might get some people behind you. So you might need to, you know, position so you got nobody behind you and, you know, take them out accordingly. But I just wanted to show that rope thing because for whatever unknown reason, I couldn't figure it out on my own. And it was driving me nuts. And th again, this was before I really wanted to come to this area to get the drops for the armor and stuff. And I was just like, how do I get up there? I couldn't figure it out. And I didn't want to ask anybody because I just felt really stupid. And uh, so now that I've figured it out, uh, I still I feel even more stupid. So I want to prevent you from having to feel stupid on clicking the rope to get up there. Um, so again, remember positioning. You'll have to get around these ropes, get a little bit in the way, and uh, you know you'll have to take the guys out to get them on all the levels. You might want to take the top first. Um, I think I'm just in crap gear right now. I'm not really trying to kill them, but mainly I just wanted to show you the rope trick because it baffled me. It truly did, and and I feel dumb now. So um, anyway, that's pretty much it. Uh, take care, everybody. Happy hunting and be safe and let me heal myself before I die.